Right, today for our math lesson, we're looking at um, telling time to the five minutes. So we know that the numbers that we see on the clock tell the hours and that the minutes are kind of hidden behind the numbers or hidden with each little tick that we see. So when our minute hand is facing the 12, we say o'clock, and on a digital clock, we see two zeros. So that's how we represent o'clock. Then if we were to count each one of these to the next big number, one, two, three, four, five, we see that there are five minutes between the 12 and the one. So when the minute hand is on the one, that means that it's five minutes after the hour. So I'm going to write it like how you would see it on a digital clock. So like if my hour hand was pointing here and my minute hand was here, the time would say 11.05. We wouldn't say 11.05. So this is how we would write it. All right, let me erase those. We're going to keep going. We're going to count. We had five. So we have six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the next number that this two represents is ten minutes. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So three is fifteen minutes. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So you should kind of see a pattern now that we are counting by. We are counting by fives. So for each big number that we see, that also represents the five minutes of time. There's also minutes in between, like this was one, two, three, and four, but we're just focusing on counting by, telling time by the five minutes. So we have five, 10, 15, 20. If we follow this pattern of counting by fives, can you guess what this one will be? 25 is correct. Then the 6, we would have 30. So 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Then 5 more would make 35. 5 more minutes would be 40. 5 more minutes would be 45. Then we have 50, 55, and then 60. But we don't ever see 60 on a clock. Whenever we reach 60 minutes, that's when the next hour has happened. So we would go back to saying o'clock instead of 60. But there are 60 minutes in one hour. All right, so if I wanted to model, um, let's do 9.15 on the clock. So I know that the nine is my hour, which from yesterday's lesson we know is which hand? The shorter hand. All right, so my hour hand will point towards the nine or in between the nine and the 10. And then 15, I'm gonna look at my starting here counting by fives, so zero. 5, 10, 15. So my minute hand, which is the longer one, should be pointing at the 15 or at the 3. 3 is what we see, 15 is what we count. Okay, let's do two more. Let's do um, 3, 30. All right, so for 3.30, this is the digital time, and we're going to show it on the analog. Three is the hour, so our hour hand should be between the three and the four. It's the shorter one. We don't put it right at the three because some we know that 30 minutes has already passed um, while we've been in the third hour. And then our minute hand will point to the 30 minutes. So again, at 12, we start counting by five. So 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So our minute hand should point to the six. All 
got one more. Let's do 12.45. So again, this is the digital. The 12 is the hour because it's first. We use the shorter hand. And because it's already been 45 minutes into the 12th hour, our hour hand should be closer to the one. It's not on the one, but close to it. Okay, and then our minute hand, which is the longer one, we will count by fives to figure out where it needs to go. So 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So it has to point at the 9, and it's the longer hand. So now our analog clock shows 1245.